All right, welcome to coding. We are going to go over lesson nine today. So let's do that. Let's start with the lesson overview. This lesson covers hyperlinks, which allow web developers to connect pages together into one website. The class will link together all the previous pages into one project and create navigation bars for each page before publishing the entire site to the web. So our vocab is hyperlink, and our new code is the A tag, which is used for hyperlinking. Let's look at the second page. Okay, so this is, my page is freaking out. What's going on? So this is the uh, format for a uh, hyperlink. Okay, so you have the A, the uh, opening A tag. And then we have the link target, target meaning where do you want this link to take you, and the link text. So this is what the user or the page viewer will see. And then we have the closing A tag, of course. So just become familiar with this when you're looking at uh, level two, and then you can move on to level three. Making a multi-page site. A website should include more than one web page, and they should connect to each other. Here's an example of a project with multiple pages that are connected by hyperlinks. The blue underlined words that take you to another page when you click on them. That's what a hyperlink is. So, what do they want us to do? Do this. Use the inspector tool to see the code that creates the hyperlinks on the top of index.html. Let's make sure we're on index.html. Click that. Okay. Use the inspector tool to see the code that creates the hyperlinks on the top index.html. Okay, so as we see on the left side over here, that is the Scotcheroos recipe that we see over here. And it links to a page called recipe.html because this is our uh, link target. And then we have how to juggle, fun facts about candy, and just notice that the page names that they are linked to. Um, I also want to point out how these are all neatly placed at the top of the page below the heading. Okay, that's called a navigation bar. Okay, uh, discuss with your partner how you think that code works. Click on recipe.html in the files list on the left hand side. Remember, this is the files list. Add a hyperlink to the top of this page that will take you back to index.html. Okay, so add a hyperlink to the top of recipe.html, which is right here. Add a hyperlink to the top of that page, which will take you back to index.html. So I am going to copy this code okay for a hyperlink so I'm gonna copy it and what, which page recipe.html okay go to recipe.html and hmm, it's got to ruse. Oh, okay so in the home page it was beneath the the navigation bar was beneath the top heading so I think I'm gonna put that beneath the top heading here too might look weird but it's okay. And they want this hyperlink to take us back to index.html. So we have to change the link target to index.html. And what do you think the link text should be? I'm going to say home page. Or just home. That's what it usually says. I'm going to turn the inspector off as well. Home. Okay, so I've done that. So I'm going to click finish. Okay, I've been wanting to point this out for a couple videos. This icon means that this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across these levels. So if you ever see this icon, that's what it means. If you change something here, then it might come up later and it's still saved. Okay. Here's your project from before. 
you'll be linking the two pages by creating a navigation bar at the top of the page. Websites usually have the same navigation bar across all of their pages so you can get back and forth between things on the site. You can see an example of a navigation bar on this page. Okay, here's their navigation bar. Yeah, I like this better, uh, where the, the navigation bar is above the headings. Something to keep in mind. It's really personal uh, preference. My preference would be to have it like this. Okay, that's a navigation bar. So do this in your home page, index.html. Add two hyperlinks at the top of the page, one to your lists page, and one to the home page. Mm, okay. Okay, so I only have two pages, index.html and top10.html. Even though it might seem strange, okay, this is an important, uh, this is an important uh, little note. Even though it might seem strange to link a page to itself, it's less confusing if the navigation bar is exactly the same on every page. That's very true, and you might come to understand that as we continue working through these websites and creating them. It's just easier to, it's, it's, it's more, it makes more sense for the user to see the exact same thing on every page they go to. Okay, so a href equals, uh, hmm, what page is this? Is this the home page? Yeah, this is index.html. So we are going to link it to index.html anyway. And then we got to put the, that's the link target in the href attribute and now we're going to put home and then we're going to close the a tag and look at that we have a link now we want to do the same thing so I'm going to copy this paste it beneath but I'm going to change the target to top10.html and I guess I'll name this my list Okay, copy the code for the navigation bar. Okay, so copy the code for the navigation bar, then add it to the top of your list page. Great. So all we're going to do here is copy and put it at the top of our list page. Remember, everything you do should be within the opening body tag and the closing body tag. I do not want to see anything up here or even in the head tags later on we might be putting things in the head tags but for now I only want to see things in the body tags okay cool it's right there all right so test our links test your links by clicking on them in the preview area so this is my my list so if I click my list it's not gonna work let's click home yep it took me to the home page all right, the links work. So now you can click finish. Okay, your personal website. In the next few levels, you'll be completing and publishing your website. You've already done a lot of work on your website, but this is your chance to get creative and add a new page of something that you care about. Here are some ideas for your new page, but you can do anything approved by your teacher. A movie, television, or book review, description of a favorite holiday tradition, a cause page that explains an issue that is important to you. If you have more than one idea, you can add multiple pages to your site. Your project guide will help you remember everything you need to do. Make sure you have your teacher's approval before moving to the next level. Okay, so let's move on. Before you start, uh, create and name your new page. Before you start coding, you should make sure that you have all the pages that you need in your project. Do this. Create a new HTML page and rename it. Repeat this process for any other pages you want to add. So, let's make two new pages. Well, I'm going to make two new pages. If you want to 
follow me, that is fine. But if you want to start doing your own thing, that's fine too. I'm going to name this page Chess. Okay. And then I'm going to name another page Basketball. Okay, that's all we had to do for this level. Create the, the pages that you want on your website. That's all. So let's move on to level 7. Next, you'll need to upload all of your images into your project. Do this. Download all the images you want onto your computer. Visit Lesson 7, Level 5 for help if you need it. Make sure you have the right to use these images. Write down all the attribution information that you need. Upload all the images into your project. Okay, so let's do a chess image search. And remember, we want to make sure the usage rights are labeled for non-commercial reuse. Okay, and now I'm going to look up in this area to look for somebody's name. So I know I can use the image. Hmm. All right, cool. Awesome. This is a, an odd picture, but it has a name, so I'm going to use it. Uh, save image as. I like saving it to my desktop. We're going to go to chess.html. Uh, no. go chess and we're going to add an image, upload file, go to the desktop because that's where I save my picture. And we're going to go to this. It's uploaded. I'm going to rename it so I can reference it. Conch, because it's conch, so. Go to chess.html, and I want to add my picture in here. So, do you remember what tag we use? The image tag. SRC equals conch.jpg alt equals conch shell on chess. All right, so you want to do this to each of your page, add your images, and I got to give attribution. I forgot, so let's do that. I like to do that in paragraph tags. Conch and Chessboard by Joel Bedford. Let's see if there are any. Okay. All right. And now we are set. So you got to do that for all your pages and your images, and that's level seven, adding the images in and the attributions. I'm going to stop the video here, and I'll make another video.